Hello, this is David from the package registry here at GitLab and in today's video I'm going to show you how to import Nugget packages into a GitLab project from an external registry. Uh, so as a quick refresher, we have been working on this tool that allows users to import packages from outside into a GitLab project. Um, this tool will use a configuration file that defines um, the source package registry, the destination package registry, and all the packages that need to be imported. Um, from that configuration file, this tool will create a pipeline configuration file. And so a GitLab pipeline will get executed and will execute the import. So each CI job will import one package and you will have as many jobs as uh, you have packages to import. The first iteration of this tool supported NPM packages. And so in this uh, follow-up iteration, we added uh, Nugget packages support, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So here I have a, an empty project, a brand new project. So no packages in the package registry. I'm going to open the code editor uh, here. And so, um, so, as I said, we will need a config file, which will be a YAML file. Um, and we are going to define the import um, as, as blocks. So, let me show you. So, here we define a, a block, an import group, if you want. Uh, that is called the import GitLab. Uh, the type will be Nugget and we define the source registry which is actually a project living in gitlab.com. Uh, um, we will have some credentials uh, to authenticate against that registry. Uh, we will need a username token for uh, Nugget package registries so uh, we define that. Obviously, we are not going to store credentials directly on the file, so we can use environment variables for that. <coughs> and so um, we will do the same for the destination. We define the package registry uh, of a project on GitLab. It's actually this project on which I'm creating the config file. And we will need credentials to, uh, to access that project because it's a private one. Then we define the packages that we need to import. So in this case, it's just a simple package. Uh, next, we will need a GitLab CI config file. And so for this one, really simple. We just include the template that is defined by the, by the, the tool project. So it's, it's a template that will actually do everything. So it will create jobs that will pull the tool and then run the tool using this configuration file, then generate a pipeline configuration file and then execute that pipeline as a children pipeline. Okay, so uh, I'm sure that some of you are going to say, oh, but this is like, this is within GitLab. So it, it, it's easy. But actually the tool is using like native Nugget uh, commands, which means that we are using the Nugget CLI to pull the package and to publish the package. There is nothing magical. So we can read packages out of any Nugget package registry from which you can pull using the Nugget CLI. So we are going to do that and define another block, another import. So this time around, we are going to import from Artifactory. Um, same thing, we have a source with the, the URL, the credentials, again, using environment uh, variables. And for the destination, this is YAML. So we can use an anchor so that we don't repeat the whole block uh, all the time. So we just say, hey, it's the same destination as this one. And then we uh, define um, 
the packages to import. Okay, fine. Um, let's let's import some more packages from a different package registry. So here is another import block uh, from GitHub this time around. Same thing for the source, URL, credentials, and same destination. But this time around for packages, we are going to read that from a CSV file because I guess it's not always easy to list uh, packages in this format. So instead, we are going to define a GitHub CSV file. And in that file, really simple, it has to have two columns. The first one is the package name. The second one is the version string. That's it. No headers, no titles, just two columns. And that's what we have here, package name and version. And that's it, you can list um, all the packages there. Okay, um, that's fine. So let's add, let's add another one last import, this time around from the nugget.org uh, registry, which is the official registry. So for that registry, we don't need credentials. So we are going to pull as a like anonymous user, so that's fine. And we are going to pull some packages. Okay, uh, we are all good here. We have our CI uh, definition file, all good. So we can save this and watch the import. So going to pipelines. Here we are. <coughs> so those jobs are the, the ones that are defined by the template. And so this job is generating, actually it's already done, generating the pipeline config file for those imports. And so if we go back, um, let me refresh the page. Here it is. This is the downstream uh, pipeline, and you can see all each import block has been um, translated to a stage of a pipeline so that you have a better vision of what is happening. And each package is imported by its own job. So one job, one package. You have a clear vision of um, which jobs have been successfully imported and which ones are have not. Um, that's it. They have all been imported. Uh, we can check that in the package registry. And here they are. So all the all the packages were successfully um, imported. Um, all right. Um, so one word on some limitations that we have for this uh, Nugget support. So one thing is that we don't support symbols packages. Um, the main reason is that technically there is no way to pull them using only the Nugget uh, CLI. And so if we can pull them, we can publish them. We can't publish them. So uh, that's a limitation. The other limitation is that uh, if we look back the configuration, um, for now we only support registries that uh, allow you to authenticate with a token and a username. Um, the Nugget CLI has a command called set API key and or oh, set API key, and that command is currently not supported on on this tool. Um, well, anyway, uh, I will drop. Um, a link to the to this tool to the project of this tool in the video description so uh, don't hesitate to go there and open issues with feedback or bugs or whatever and with that i think that's the end of this demo so yeah see you <laughs> bye <laughs>